What's up everybody, it's Crypto Muscle coming back to you with another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm going to take a step on the side just for the moment on the Crypto Muscle Stimulus Package Challenge. Oh yes, it's still going. The challenge is still going, but the focus on this one is about Ethereum Gold and or what was Ethereum Gold, right? So right now we're looking at this right here. You know that's twelve thousand plus in this deal, and of that, I only got six hundred ninety-nine, which comes out to twenty-five hundred dollars worth out of the you know, roughly twenty-six hundred dollars worth at the moment in the three point four million dollar valuation of this whole deal. And when I came in. I put in five ETH and with the fees taken out right here, the 20% is taken out up front. Um, it dropped it down to 4.38. And so from there, I have been trying to just earn, earn, earn. And I let it ride the whole time. I haven't touched it. I haven't even attempted a withdraw. This is where it came out to. So as it comes out to that, I'm going to do a quick calculation here. So 9.3827 plus 3.226299 comes out to 12.60 ETH, right? And so when you look at it that way, I have netted thus far 8.22 ETH, all right? So that's what I've netted thus far on it. And with that, this is where I'm at on this, so... When you look at Ethereum Gold, right, what do we always talk about in this thing? Everybody that's in it, everybody that talks about it, we always talk about, first thing is that it's long term. You don't expect, you know, crazy hype earnings or passive daily sort of earnings of like the 1% platforms and things like that, the mine capital, whatever, all that stuff, right? We're talking about long term. So, there's going to be some days that you're going to get a lot of dividends. There are going to be some days that you don't get hardly any dividends. It's all in the ebbs and flows of people coming in and out of the contract. People, um, you know, the market valuation, uh, you know, as people come in and come in more and more, the value of it continues to go up. And just like as people come out, the value of it goes down. And also, of course, ETH price, you know, ETH, Ethereum, you know, price plays a role as well. So when you put all that together, right, and it's the ultimate savings account situation, because this is long term, you're going to look at it more like this. This is what it ultimately is. This is an ultimate, the wallet of all wallets out there, super wallets. You know, all the, you know, bullshit super wallets that's come out, you know, they, they always say, oh, we're going to guarantee 1%, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. What did I, what did they all do? They all failed, right? This is the ultimate situation when you look at it this way, right? This is this, all right? When you look at it like this, it's the ultimate wallet. This is the ultimate savings account. Whatever is put into this, you're going to ultimately earn, and this it's got nowhere to go but you as a controller of your own funds, your own MetaMask. Uh, I think Trust can, you know, Wallace can use it as well, but the point of it is no one can touch it but you. There's no banker, there's no, you know, guy standing behind the, oh, the website or you know some sort of platform this is you that comes in puts the money into this you know if you want to ultimately call it a wallet same thing dap is a smart contract then this is how it's stored all right so let's take a look here how do you earn out of this thing you earn dividends right you know, like they always talk about you earn 1% profit on, you know, all these, you know, passive platforms, super walls, things like that. Back then, 
This is how it works. The daily percentages fluctuate as, as income is generated when people deposit or withdraw Ethereum. This is a, an Ethereum, you know, wallet. You could look at it almost like a bank as well. So when you look at it like that, so to come in, the fee is entered is 20%. 10% is deducted as soon as you deposit and 10% is distributed immediately to everyone, including you um, on that part. The other 10% is that uh, it's released to all members that's still in it when you decide to take it out for whatever reason you need. You can always put it in and take it out, right? You know, I was looking at this one comment, all right, um, in the Discord. So, you know, a guy, you know, he he's in, I'll just say he's in 3X, right? And he says, you know, I got to pull out my money. Is there a way I can pull out my money? And a lot of times when you look at these platforms, what's the thing you can't do? You can't take out your capital, right? As soon as the capital you put in is locked in for the term of whatever it's locked in for, depending on the platform. So they said to the guy, sorry, you put in the amount of money. And now that you need it, sorry, it's locked in. We, we can't give it to you. You, know, you can't just put it in and take it out whenever you please. Well, here at Ethereum Capital Wallet, you can put it in and take it out as you please. There's no one stopping you. There's, you know, you decide when you want to do it. You know, it's all about timing. You know, do you want to continue to earn dividends? You can do that. You can pull out as little as you want. You can pull out as much as you want, depending on what you got in there, of course. And you control that. If you just want to pull out a few dollars, you can pull out a few dollars. I don't know why you want to, but you could do that. And that's how that works when you, when you deposit into Ethereum Capital Wallet. You know, it is still, it is Ethereum Gold, by the way. And so when you look at it, the dividends that are generated are people that deposit and withdraw. Ethereum is deposited into the contract and the value of each Ethereum credit increases. So your initial deposit can be worth even more than you deposited. I just talked about what I have netted from it thus far. And I'll, I'll show you in a minute on this particular Ethereum Capital Wallet. So they say that experts say in the future, Ethereum prices is going to eventually outpace the growth of Bitcoin. Since the contract pays you and Ethereum, everything you can earn wor is be worth more and more. Is it safe? It's as safe as it would be in an Exodus or hardware wallet because it's on the blockchain. This is a smart contract, right? Smart contract. It's verified, audited, immutable, bulletproof. Same thing, right? And so with that, it's safe. No one can do it but you. You're the one that is in complete control of, of your own free will. Unless someone gets into your MetaMask, then that's on you. So your funds are never locked up. Just like I said, you can withdraw your dividends, but you can cash out all your Ethereum credits at any time. And so they show you the growth over the last two years here. And unlike any other passive uh, platform no one can ever change the rules or lock you out because the contract operates with AI intelligence and can never be stopped by anyone no not even in government or its creator because like I said it's immutable it's audited it's bulletproof no one can touch it and it's been proven so ever since it came out in 2018 it's been over two plus years now so let's take a look inside what I'm talking about It's all about mindset. So as we enter here now, all right, see, this is, this is the same amount, 3.4 million. We just talked about that, right? Think about it this way. This is the capital put in. Ethereum credits. Think about Ethereum gold, but now it's credits. This is how much credits I put in. I put in, you know, four, five Ethereum and with five Ethereum, it, you know, they took out the fees. This is what it gave me. 699 credits. And it all is on, depends on how much is in this capital and how much the ETH 
uh, token, you know, the ETH, Ethereum's worth, and you go from there. So as more, more people come in, the price goes higher and the sell price goes higher, right? And then as people come out, you know, the price eventually goes down. So it's all about coming in and out of this thing. And we've seen how far this thing can go. So we look at it now. See, this is what I've earned when I put it in. See, I've earned this amount. And based on what I have in here, and based on people coming in and out of this deal, that's how you earn. So with that, this is, you know, not bad when you think about it. So of, you know, $2,500 that I have in here right now, I've already earned $892. And this is since June 14th, all right? This is how long I've been in it. So, what, 40 days? And results vary. It all depends on when you get in and if people get in. So, when you look at it like this, the more that people get in, the more that we reap the rewards of this thing. So, I've already accumulated this amount of dividends. And I could just withdraw it. But I'm just letting it ride right now. I'm letting this whole thing ride. And the new option that you can have here is that you can reinvest this thing. So if I want to, if you want to reinvest your dividends into more credits, you can do that and build it up even more and earn more because you have more credits because you earn based on how many credits you have. So the more credits you have, the more you earn as people come in and out of this contract. So when you look at the legendary Oracle, for example, I mean, he has some crazy amount of Ethereum credits. I mean, it's some, uh, it, I can't even, I, all I can tell you is it's a hundred thousand dollar value, all right, in credits. So I don't even, I can't even tell you how many credits he has. And imagine that. So as people come in and out of that, the amount of credits he has, he's he's just slaying this thing on earnings right now. And so when you look at it, he has complete control of his own funds. He could pull out of that thing whenever he wants to, just like me. I could just withdraw all this out right now if I want to. All I got to do is hit withdraw, collect my dibs. If I want to get out of this deal, I just put, you know, what I want to sell here, sell it. It's going to come back over here. And I withdraw, then I'm out of this deal. That's how easy it is to get in and out of this contract. And what's cool is that if you don't want to look at it as USD, you know, you could select any of the other USD, or I'm sorry, currencies that are out there. So look at this. We could look at it like this. See all the different currencies? So you could come in in any country you want. You got euros, you know, you're from Europe, you have euros, and you want to come in on this thing, there you go. This is what it's worth in euros. So, this is worldwide, and this thing is what is the future of everything. You know, forget the dApps. This is the ultimate, I mean, you could call it a dApp still, but you could call this the ultimate wallet. And... The, you know, backup links. Let's look at the, what the backup link is on this thing. Ethereum Gold. All right. So if you need to go back and look something or if this contract's down. Here's a, oh, here's a second backup. What's the second backup going to lead us to? Here we go. Oh, gold chip fund. So you know what this means? It's the same thing. This is all the same. But it's all about perspective. And when you really look at it, this is an ultimate savings account. It's an ultimate wallet that this thing can't exit scam like the super wallets have done. No one can, you know, penetrate this thing. There's no back doors. This is straight up. You are in complete control when you come in and out of this thing. So if you're having a savings account and you want to store something for the future, this is the place to go to do it. Store it in here and collect the dividends and we'll see what happens with it, right? So check it out. Ethereum Capital Wallet. I got links down below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this. You know, it's all about perspective. 
And other than that, I'll see you in the next one.